morning. I come in early today. Very early. And it's a good job because ripping her here. Sort the job out with the um, with the drill. Ben's not even supposed to be working today and he's come out to try and get this working. Legend. So let's get doing some straw blowing while Ben's got his lighting set up all in there. Looks like bale's been cut, so we'll jump on and get going. Lights are on and we're blowing straw in. Should have Big Mickey a bit later. It's like a film set in here. Steven is flash motor. <laughs> Right, so Noah and Andy have got here. They're doing the straw blowing at the minute. Noah's letting them in. I'll start feeding. Cost me dad's off, as you see. He's off out. So it is, uh, I don't know if you can see down there, quarter past eight. Um, ben came in at half seven. He's the guy that's like the cone specialist. He's fixed. New sensor in, done. And he says he's going to sort out some things, he's going to try and find out if we can, if it ever goes again, knock it off. And um, he's just going to bring another sensor just so, and set it up. So if it ever goes again, we can just poof, put the new sensor in <coughs> and be continue growing, just continue drilling. So that's fantastic service from Pippin Farm Services. Um, yeah, hats off to him. Hats off to him. What could be here? Gosh, I have to get this cut didn't I thought before farming it was don't know if that'll happen it's gonna be busy so Andy's been in here and strawed him up we'll just feed him a few more to do and then we're gonna be off drilling now we've got the spreader bale on so we just use this in this one pen keeps the machine running and um, is a good way of bending up down here because it's quite narrow it's quite difficult to back in around the corner to get into this this place. This just works nicely, so we can see what we're doing a lot better. Andy's got me a bale set out, so we can pick another one up. So we do have to self-feed this. Not quite liking going underneath it. Rocking the nine meter a bit. Got it. Right, we've got the sprayer dropped off. Um, Noah's going to get a mix done, so we've run out of feed now. I think it's time for me to go and make a coffee. So Andy's just getting the plough ready. Gracing it up. What, right, Andy? Yeah. Right, I'm going to head up in the Sanyong, just have a look at what it's like, whether we can drill it or not. Um, whether I'm just gonna have to be following Andy today. Uh, hopefully we can follow him. I'm not sure what this ground's gonna be like. So just looking at this at Andy's plowed. Will it go? You know what? It's a bit sticky. But I, I bet it would. It is breaking down, lovely. Did I just say, will it plough? It's already ploughed. Will it drill is what I mean, if that's what I even said. Um, you know, I get these phrases wrong. I ought to know. But yeah, it's, um, yeah, I think if, if Andy goes and ploughs, we've got a little field just above. If Andy goes and ploughs that, I'll be able to go directly behind him. It might just give this chance to have a bit more drying before I get on it. Just check the other end of the field because it could be a, a completely different story at the other end. What a view from here though. Nasty. Oh yeah. This one were, this one going, breaking up lovely. Andy's here with the plough now. So I'm just saying it does look like the rain's coming. But um, I'm just going to see what this comes up like and then I know which field to come in first. So Andy's just setting out now. And we'll have a quick look at what that's like. Yeah, 
just just like the other really so what i might well do is just come in here and then me and andy can get that get this field just done it's just raining on the way back hopefully it's just a little shower crossing my fingers anyway um noah's just getting a mix sorted to feed the rest of the cattle he's gonna um, do a bit of sweeping up with the bucket brush on the jcb and get the mill rocking and rolling as well so um yeah he's gonna be doing a few of the jobs around the yard keeping the farm running um right let's jump on the drill let's get up there right we're ready everything's loaded up apart from of course the john deere screen we can get probably up to a field before that loads i thought oh, we'll be all ready to go for a day's drilling um my dad obviously set off with half a tank for a day of drilling yesterday. Oh, looks like I'm filling that up before we go. Right, we're on it. Let's get going. Hold it. Andy's on with ploughing the headlands now. It's gonna be fun. It's like literally about 48 meters wide, this, uh, this field by the looks of the GPS. Oh my days, the blower's gone off again. Well, it's not gone off. It's not reading it. That's the one that tells you where the blower. I've not turned it off or anything, it's just gone. So I've drilled from there to there and we're stuck again. Ben, the legend, is coming to work. Uh, well, he's going to run to another branch, nick a sensor off another machine, and get down here and swap it. Like, I can't ask for any more. I just wish it'd just work. But the service that we're receiving is fantastic. Like, you can't. I can't ask for any more of the people that are coming out and, and, and getting it as back up and running. So um, again, hats off to Open Farm Services. Um, but yeah, I just, I want to be able to drill a field. Um, it's raining. Anyway, right, I'm getting off. We're going back to the farm. At least I can bake a sandwich back at farm now. That's one positive. So Andy's getting this bit ploughed. It looks like an iron bar that, but I think it's a a bramble that's managed to stick straight up in the air um yeah so andy will get a bit more plowed anyway get another field done and i'll head back and hopefully we can get it fixed and then just work into the night and get it done well it looks like ben and big mick are here so if i didn't have to come back i wouldn't have seen the big mister would i so and i think he's in a bit of pain he might tell you about it he might just tell you about it he's been telling me about it so we've turned up at 12 o'clock today. Is this the start of things to come? Pardon? Is this the start of things to come? Yeah, that's your bed, not mine. <laughs> right, I've had my dinner and the ripping van's back in the yard. Sorting the job. Michael, it's nice to see you. Have you done it? Yeah, well, we're going to go to the field, he's going to have an hour with me, make sure the job's right. What, what it? Any idea? Sensor, on fan. Sensor? Again. Um, oh, I said to everyone that you're getting a new lorry. What lorry is it? New Renault. New Renault? Business. Oh yeah. It's already come. It's going to come? It's already come? It's already come. Go on, tell, us, tell everyone what's up with you. What about my back? What about my back? I'm buggered. I'm old. Great, <laughs> right, I'm going to get off. I'll see you later. Bye. Right. So Ben's been sorting me out um, with the drill. There you go. Might run me over here. Right, we're off, we're going. Everything seems all well. So I've just put my headland in on the right hand side of the field here. Now I've got my straight that the guidance is driving on because we might as well go straight all the way across the field if we can. But it just does mean that we're overlapping a little bit here. Um, which means we'll get some double seeding but 
that's the price we pay for trying to uh, straighten everything out. There's always going to be a bendy curve along the side of the field, more than likely, and it's a bit straight. Ben's also had a word with the guy from Coon, um, and they've told us a way to sort of get around, um, like I was asking, a way to just get around the sensor. And there is a way, so I'm happy. It means we can continue drilling. Now we know what buttons to press in the menu to be able to get around it. We can um, we can just continue if something happens again, which hopefully it doesn't, but you never know. Just seen two motorbikes heading over that way somewhere. Oh. Where are they gonna go? Camera skills. Hopefully, they just went in one. Ben's come a little bit early for me with some seed. So just going to go and do a bit of clearing up. The way I've done with the samash, getting some uh, getting some branches out of the way. Well, it's absolutely chucking it down. Our Ben's just trying to shelter the seed a little bit with the bucket, and. Um, I need to, I need to put some seed in. But I don't fancy, fancy if uh, we're going to get rained off. So we might just have to wait and see what's what's going to happen here. Because it really is meaning it. Really, 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 really mean, meaning it. I think it's slowing down. I mean, everything's very wet. Camera's good though today. That's not got wet. So we'll just use that to back up to somewhere where Ben is. Um, let's give it five minutes, see if this rain stops and then open the hood. So a little bit left, hopefully they'll go in. It's still raining, a bit, might blow over now, that will dry out, but fingers crossed it'll drill. This morning I was questioning if it were dry enough, and uh, it was feel plenty dry enough this morning compared to what it is like now, um, and it's still going to try, we're still going to give it a go. I've just been watching a bit of the, the footage you see while we've been, um, been in the rain. I thought I might as well try and use some of it to uh, my advantage, get a bit of editing done. Potato lads keep going past. Hope it drills now, it's full. Oh, okay. Hope you're what? 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 Oh. <laughs> well, trying my best. Oh, well, hang on. How much have you got drilled? It's like. What, I've, had a few, I've had a few issues. One, six, six, ten and a massive drill that's to every three. I've, I've drilled 35 acres today. Well, what can I say? You're a legend, like mate. It. Living legend. Well, crossing all my 12 fingers and toes, um, I'm hoping that it's going to drill. We've come across a challenge. A challenge that John D and Mick had set us. Um, but we didn't know about, and I don't know if John D and Mick knew about, but you're going to see in a second what it is. Before we put the seed in, I may have got out for a little rest. And... Oh yeah, see that. Right in the bottom. Don't think we'll be able to get it out, because I don't think that the JCB will quite go low enough, but... I don't know, we might be, I think you might be surprised. Down. That's it. Right, go, go back then. Keep going back. No, bring your bucket back. That's it. Right. Right, try and curl it back then. You go forward a bit. Hey, hey, we might be. Forward a bit. Let go forward. Pull your boom in now, so you don't need to be. Pull your boom in. Honestly, it does not listen to a thing. 
Can you pull the boom in, Ben? And move forward, that's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Carry on moving forward. Pulling boom in. No, you've, you've gone past rolling it, I think. This is a nightmare. Curling. Just keep curling back. Is it not letting you? That's it. That's it. Keep doing that. Pull your boom in and come forward. Keep, keep doing that. Go on. Come on. Pull it in. Pull it in still. Right, forward. Driving forward though. Sit while driving forward. Pulling boom in. While driving forwards. You might have lost it, yeah. Well, there's some branches in that side, whether you want to try and get them out. It's so close to having it there. You have to press bottom one, I think. This is going to take some editing. You press the bottom one. I need to lift, I need to go down before I even do it. Well you won't, you can't go down, you haven't got any down left. You just need to tilt the bucket back if you can. That's it, that's it. Forward now. That's it. Curl it back. That's it, you've got it. Yeah. You must nearly have it. You have, you've got it, look. I'm gonna wrap it. Yeah, let's wrap it. Feed it to cows. <laughs> oh no, that's dumb. Dumb, put it in dyke. <laughs> Thanks, John Deere, Mick. East, that's like 10 foot, maybe down there. We want some more wood um, grabbing out of there, which cut down with some ash. But we'll have to do all that when I get digger. Well, I'm glad we got that out of the um, ditch because there's nothing that would bung up a ditch better than a rotting down silage bale. It just damn it up. So, um, I was, yeah, <laughs> I know I was stressing it on our bed, but um, I'm glad that we've got it out. Glad that that's done. Um, anyway, I probably ought to leave this um, video here because we've spent a long time um, filming today. So I guess it's a pretty long video and um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, press the like button, subscribe of course if you're not already. Check out the merchandise at joeseals.com or in the, um, below the video you can click on it there, which is great. And yeah, we'll see you in tomorrow's video where hopefully, fingers crossed, we've got more ploughing and drilling um, to be done because it looks like it's going to be dry for another three days, something like that. So let's get some of, some of this knocked off. Right, thanks for watching guys. See you later. Bye.